there are days when you wake up that you don't feel like a Christian. <laughs> so, <laughs> some days you feel like this guy. It's morning. And some days, you don't. You see, walking with God was never a matter of every day going about your day as though you were Mr. Happy Camper. But rather, walking with God is just that. Walking with God. Because not only will there be days that you don't feel like a Christian, there'll be days you don't act like a Christian. Because at times, you let your feelings dictate to you how you act. You'll react to things as opposed to ask God or let God work in you to accomplish His purpose. So sometimes you wake up and you just don't want to do whatever it is you're going to do. That's okay. You see, the difference between a person who has a personal relationship with someone who they can talk to is that they can express those feelings to the person like Jesus that they not only enjoy the company with but is a part of their life because you see God is alive and at work in me to accomplish his purpose so there are days when I don't feel like I'm a Christian or I don't feel like I'm a born again I don't feel like God is there and God's there anyways, because He loves us, and He loves you. He knows how you're feeling, so you don't deny it. You don't try to hide it. You don't try to put on this facade of being something more than you're not. The reality of being a born-again Christian is you be you, and God will take care of you. But when you try to be something you're not, when you try to put on some makeup, as it were, or wash your face and put on a tie and pretend like you're going to see the sky and walk away in the sweet by and by, then you're not being real. You're not being the accurate portrayal of God in the flesh that God has made you to be as Jesus lives in you. Because you see, God wants you to be real about how you feel. He wants you to say, yes, I don't feel like a Christian, but that doesn't stop God from working in me. That doesn't change what I do in my daily routines to be with God, to seek God, to know Him in a personal and intimate way. If anything, when you don't feel like a Christian, you're more like a Christian than you ever were before. Because it's not all joy. It's not all happiness. Sometimes it's suffering. Sometimes it's pain. But it's knowing what to do that makes you true to God, a true witness, an accurate portrayal of God in you. And when you know what to do, then you reach out to the one who loves you. You care that God is there, and you can leave it in His hands to form you by His plan into what you were supposed to be today. Because He might just tell you, relax, take it easy, I'll take over today. You go do your thing, and I'll do mine. And God will never leave you, so he's inside doing his thing. But you may be thinking you're doing your own, and in reality, God is leading you. He's just being a little quiet inside of you. So in daily life, today, as God speaks to us, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, our Savior, Jesus Christ, hath abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God shall wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken. When this corruptible shall, be put, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? 
The sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of a love and of a sound mind. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. When you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you might fear, so don't mistake what's being said here. But you won't fear evil, because you will trust in God to do according to His will, as He's purposed in His mind, to bring you past and through either death's door into eternal life or into death's salvation, which is the resurrection of the life in you that Jesus created for you to have, which was in your weakness, then He is made strong. Because if you depend upon God today for your feelings, God will lead you in the way He shall go. Where is the way where light dwelleth? God is light, and in Him, not you, but in Him, is no darkness at all. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie, and we do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The Father hath made us to meet, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. You were all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is heaven. As you recognize that it is God personally, intimately caring for you, knowing who you are, the way you are by your interaction with other people you will be encouraged by your interaction and relationship with God you will be uplifted by your choice of those people who know and walk not in darkness but in light but care about you in a way that brings you to God to Jesus himself then not only do you receive forgiveness for your failings but you receive encouragement for your feelings because at times your feelings may cause you to fail when you let them lead you by your emotion rather than your devotion to God so emotional response is one thing but a devotional relationship is always seeking God throughout its day to walk in a way that is pleasing in his sight by asking him to do what is right, not wrong. And God has taken care of all your sins, all your failings, all your feelings, all your emotions, all your devotions, all your anxieties, all your cares, all your worries. Even death itself has no power over you because God, your God, is in you. And because he came to live in you, he promised he would not leave you, nor forsake you. So today, don't just walk with him, talk with him, share with him what you're feeling. He cares for you, and he loves you. Today,